Hey good people, welcome back to Beauty and the Frizz. My name is Kara, whether you're new or returning. Thank you so much for stopping by. It is Sunday, so we're most of the makeup. This is my joint right here, y'all, I'm sorry. This is my Euphoria can. It is, this is rose wine. I usually drink the white. I drink the rose, they're both so good. I don't know if everybody has Euphoria, but it's so good. If you can get your hands on it, it's great. So today, it's just more inspo with the Natasha Denona Circo Loco palette. I've done the swatches, I did an initial look. We're just going ahead with looks today because I know a lot of people are getting their palettes in and wanna know what to do with this chaotic, crazy circus. So if you wanna see the looks I create, keep watching this video, let me know what you think. Definitely consider subscribing and joining the community because I'd love to have you back. All right, let's get started. Okay y'all, so if you wanna see the swatches and just the whole overview of the palette, I will link that video, but this is the Natasha Denona Circo Local Palette. It is a 15 pan palette. It retails for $129. It has a 24 month shelf life. I know a lot of people are on the fence about this palette and hoping that it will be in stock for the Sephora VIB sale, which I believe starts April 9th. So. I, I hope it will, I hope it will be. I know a lot of people are really on the fence because this is hefty, this is hefty. And I got this, I had a gift card that really took, you know, a lot of the load off the price of this palette. Now, one thing that I would like to share with you all is that I decided to reorganize this palette and I'm gonna show you how I did it. I'm just trying to clean it up, shine it up just a little bit. So you guys take a look at what I did. I will try to put an overlay of the original layout because I think that would be helpful so that you can see what I did. But I watched Kinky Sweat's video and she talked about there being three distinct color families in this palette. There were the pinks and purples, the blues, and then the oranges. The only thing that I was disappointed about was that there wasn't an even number in each family. So when I decided to group this, I first decided to go row by row. And I was hoping there would be five of each, but it just didn't work out that way where there was five of each. So then I just went up and down. So there were six of the pinks and purples. There's five of the blues. And then there's three of this kind of family. I mean, I put the yellow with the oranges because I kind of did not know where else to put it. But for me, this kind of helps me out. So if you were on the fence about getting this palette or if you felt like this palette is chaotic, you can always pop these little bad boys out and reorganize it into a way that is your liking. Um, I'm sure there are a multitude of ways you could organize this palette. I just would have been happy if there was the same number of each color family because then I could have done like row by row by row. But this is fine. I think even the reorganization of this palette, it is still beautiful and um, I'm loving it. So we're gonna get right into the inspo. I'm sorry if y'all hear Cam whining. I'm, I'm gonna have to go take him out in a second. But we're gonna get right into the inspo. I'm probably gonna do four looks and I'll just do one on each eye just so we can get some inspo. Uh, let me know what you think, which look was your favorite. Let me know if you've played around with this palette and what you think about it. Mm. Upon like looking at this palette versus my other Natasha Denona palettes, I, I, I'm gonna have to rank my palettes because I don't know where this falls right now, but right now, it's not like a favorite. I'm not like, oh my gosh, this is the best one that I have. I think my favorite Natasha Denona palette is probably between the bronze and the love. Yeah, probably between those two right now. Um, I haven't played around with my Sunrise too much. I've only used my Metropolis like once or twice. So I'm gonna have to really play around with these shadows before I'm able to truly rank them and see where this falls. But I am glad to have it. I think it's unique. I think it's different for Natasha Denona. So let's get into these looks, y'all. So the first two looks that I would like to do are going to be for the person who looks at a palette like this and does not 
know where to begin. You're gonna just try to stick with colors that are in the same family so that the look is just not all over the place and is pretty cohesive. So the first look I wanna do is going to be a blue look. So we're gonna start with the shade Acrobat. Oh, actually we're not. So look, the shade names are all screwed up now, y'all. So I'm just gonna to point to the shade. I don't know what the original shade was and it doesn't really matter to be honest. So the first shade we're gonna start with, we're gonna start with this uh, light blue matte shade and that's gonna be a transition for this look. One thing about Natasha Denona, if you're not familiar with her brand, I can say, I, I, I'm almost with confidence that her mats are my favorite. I think second would be Sydney Grace. And look, this is a light shade. And I'm like, I feel like this would show up really nice on deeper skin. I, I think it really would. On me, it's like, I know you can see it, but you know, it's not. Like, it's like, oh my God. But we're gonna just go ahead and put that in the transition area. And that's gonna give us a nice little base to this look. Mm -hmm. I'm done. It just blended itself, to be honest. And next we are going to deepen this up. We're gonna go in the crease with this shade right here. So I'm gonna just take this and we're gonna put it right here in the crease. Oh, here comes Cam. One thing that I do like to do when I'm, this isn't like first impressions, but I really do like to try to use, you know, a good portion of the shades so that you can see, you know, what these shades are gonna look like. So we're gonna just get that all up in here. And like, I'm not having any issues with, with this at all, nothing, no problems. Get it a little, oh, can't get in closer. Let me manually scoot up. Okay. So next we're gonna take this shade right here. This is gonna be my outer corner shade to just make it really deep in that area. I'm just focusing that on the outer corner and I probably will come back to that after I use the shimmer shade. I already like this, this is really cute. Cute. All right, sorry, I had to do that. Couldn't help it. Okay, and then we're gonna take this shade here, which I know is Snow Cone. I, this is one of my favorite shades in the palette. And we are going to just use our finger, look at that y'all, and press that in here. And then what I'll do is get more of that deeper shade to just blur any harshness that may be there, but. Or I just want to cover up any more shimmer that's going past where I need it to be. Okay, so I'm just going to take this shade here, do that. Okay, so I definitely want to utilize the last blue shade, which is this one right here. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner. I mean, on the lower lash line. And this is real easy, like... This is an easy look, I think, easy. Yeah. And gotta spice it up. I'm going to take the shade, this one, <laughs> and I'm gonna put that in my inner corner. And that just gives you, like, you know, you can always do a little fun pop with the inner corner. Okay, I didn't need to do use all that. Uh, I think I'm gonna use the shimmery shade. I might have been doing too much, hold on. Let me clean that up just a taste. But y'all see where I'm going with this. Giving it just a little fun pop. I'll fix it up. Okay, that was like too much of a fun pop, so wait a minute. So I needed to be, I didn't need it to be all that. I just needed a little pop. I was doing like a big pop. There we go. Oh, this is cute. I like it. Mm. Yeah, I'm feeling that. I think that's kind of cute. Maybe not as much um, pop in the corner. But now, I just want you to know, I am getting some fallout with this. So, 
I don't know if Natasha Denona is known for not having fallout. I don't really know at all, but I'm just saying what's going on. So look number two, I'm thinking, ooh, I think I have an idea. Okay, look number two, we're gonna go orange. So going to start with this shade, which is in the spot of Fun Soin. I know it's fun to mine, but I like to say fun soin. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that as my transition. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I was like, wait a minute. I'm gonna put the brush in there. Oh, this is a nice orange. Like, do y'all see? Like, I'm like not even holding the brush hard. I'm just fluffing it in. So pretty. This is gorgeous, gorgeous orange. Look at that. Oops, look at this. Really nice orange matte. I really like this a lot. I wanna check out this other orange shade. We're gonna go with this shade and see what that looks like on the lid. So if I'm looking at these two, she didn't need all these oranges though. She really did not need that, I'm just saying. She could have left one of these oranges out because I don't feel like this is showing. This shade is, I don't know. I don't know if I, I worked with this shade before. This one right here, this is a different type of formula. I really prefer this one, the regular matte. Like, mm, I don't know. It's like, I don't know if it's creamy. I don't know what's going on. I don't think I like that shade. Just saying. It's not doing anything for my life. So, and you know what? I put this shade on my lid in my first look and I didn't like how it looked then, but I was like, mm, I think it's just me. But now I'm using it again. Okay, I'm not using that shade no more. So we're just going, we're just going to use orange. We're going to use all orange, like this matte orange. I'm not using that other shade. I want to take this gold shade and put that on the lid. So let's do that. I don't think I used this shade yet, so. I don't like that orange shade. I don't like it. But see, this is how you can like pick shades in a similar family and make a look. And then you can say, oh, I'm gonna add a pop of this at the end. You know what I mean? Then it's like not as daunting. Is daunting the right word? Okay. Like you're not like you don't know, completely don't know what to do. And then what I want to do is kind of the opposite. I'm going to take this shade right here and put this in the inner corner. So you got blue with the orange and you got orange with the blue. And I'm really feeling this look a lot right here. Actually, I like both of them. I ain't even mad. I ain't mad at even one of them. Nope. Oh, now let's figure out the under eye. So you see, if you just like chunk it, that's like a strategy I use at work with the, with the students. You, you break it down into manageable parts. What are we gonna do for the transition? What are we gonna do for the crease? What are we gonna do for the lid? And I didn't even have like an outer corner for this one. Like I tried, but that shade wasn't. Mm -mm. All right, so I like this. Let's take this Joker shade and put that on the lower lash line. Yes, we will. Yes, we will. Did I, say, I felt like I said I was doing like man, monochromatic looks. I, that's not what happened, but that's okay. See, these are fun though. But see, we started with, but see that, okay, so that's the point of this whole thing. We started with looking at shades that were within a color family, you know, and then you can like, and then you can see it and then you can say, oh, Hmm, this would pair nice with blase blah, blah, you know what I mean? Cause at first I was like, oh, I'm just gonna do this. And then I was like, oh no, this will look good. And I think that's how you can break it down, break the palette down into something manageable by reorganizing it. So mm, I like both of these looks. What do you think? Mm, 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 I like them. So let me get some lashes. I'm just gonna do a, like a basic liner, something basic, and then I will be right back with these looks. Okay, you guys, so here 
are the final looks with the lashes and the liner. I used a burgundy ColourPop liner from the Wine and Only collection. Um, it's just burgundy. It's nothing. It's not even really in the waterline, but whatever. Um, so this is it. I just feel like this was a really easy way to break the palette down. I don't know. Reorganizing it for me really did something for me with this palette. I like the very first look I made though, but I was going to say the palette was a little too circusy, but you know what I mean? Oh, I really like this. I love this shade. Snow cone is the business. Let me know what you think about these looks. Let's look one more time. These lashes. Oh, love these lashes. These are my estate lashes. I did a very, very quick video on these the other day. This is the shape her. I'm just a big sucker for these cat lashes. Could fix this just to taste, but you get the overall point. So these were easy looks y'all, but nothing complicated. That first look I did in the other video was complicated. I don't even know what I was doing. I was channeling something. I was channeling somebody else. So let's get into a couple more looks y'all. And uh, I'll be back to wrap it up at the end okay you guys i'm back we're gonna do some more looks with this palette i hope you enjoy them let me know what you think let me know which one is your favorite all right hopefully i need to close my door because august is playing some game on the ipad it's really loud crazy thing is i told august he could um be in the room and he was like but i'm naked and i was like well just get a shirt he's like i'll sit out here so that was his choice his choice oh blush mm, let me tell you what i did for blush real quick i layered two of my fenty cream blushes so petal popping and then what was the other one petal popping and fuego flush so it's a pink and an orange see i'm trying to use my stuff it's this one because i want those melt cream blushes and i'm like no you can't get them maybe for vib the orange one and then on top of that, my favorite Fenty highlighter is the Sandcastle in Minted Mojito. So I use the Sandcastle shade. I know it's a lot, but you know, I gotta use this stuff up. And I don't think I prime my eyes. So we're just gonna go with this NYX under eye concealer just to give it a little bit of something. There we go. All right, I'm ready. I'm ready to roll. We're going to use, mm, okay, yes. Use a refer number one. Ooh, y'all. If you have not tried refer brushes, they are the best. I love them so very much. And they're, we don't need to do that. The refer brushes, y'all. Their concept store is back open. They have their core brush set in there. If you don't know what the concept store is, I'm about to tell you. They sell their, what? You can go check and see what number's on. So they sell their brushes for half off. Certain brushes they sell for half off. Um, they switch it up, but the concept store just opened back up. I think their core brush, the core brush set, I think it's three brushes on sale for 39. The second brush set that they have are our newer brushes and i did purchase that it was 52 dollars and you got four brushes so excited and then they have another bronzing brush for 23 and their whole store is 40 percent off just wanted to share that in case you wanted to try refer brushes all right so we're going in with the shade this is joker i know that one for sure because it this was one of my favorites and we're going to Try to apply this in a different method today. Something I saw on the YouTubes. We're just going to put this here in the transition area here. And I'm going to take a different shade to blend this a little further upward. This is so pretty. Move in. This shade right here. This is one of the best ones I think in the palette. It's just really nice. It's like a, what do you call it? Fuchsia, maybe? And like, look how quickly that blended. Like, I'm not even really doing anything, for real. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do with that. 
Now I'm gonna take another brush. I think I'm gonna take this one. I love this brush and it's a Morphe brush too. It is the Morphe M321. I don't, I never really do like up close shots with my brushes. And this is the rougher brush that I was using. What I wanna do with this is I wanna take this shade here, this orange, and see if we can like do a little blend above it. This is what I was watching this girl on YouTube do. Okay, maybe. Cause you know, I, I really do apply my eyeshadow in the same way all the time for the most part. So just trying to, you know, up my game just to say, you know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna take that and blend this out. So now we have a bit of a gradient, I feel, with these two shades. Kind of going in a little rainbow motion. Okay, I like it. That was fast, okay. Let's take, is this a shimmer? Is this a shimmer? Yeah, it is. Okay, I think. Let's take this shade here and go in for the shimmer. Oh, y'all, wait a minute. Let me manually scoot up because, oh, y'all. This shade is so pretty. Sorry, I can't tell you the original name. Look how gorgeous this is. Nice little, little teal. I hear Marky. A little teal shade here. And then I'm going to take just a little bit of, yeah, this shade right here, just to complement it on the outer corner. Just using that same brush, cause you only just stab in a little bit of this end. Just gonna blend it a little bit in here. Taking more of the teal shade just cause um, I don't want this to be too dark. I was just trying to give a little bit of some, just giving a little, little deep moment on the outer corner. I do like this, but in the camera, I feel like the outer corner looks darker than I would like it to be and that's okay. Now what I want to do is on the lower lash line, I'm going to take a smudger brush and I'm going to take this dark purple shade, matte shade, and just go under the lower lash line. This is really cute. I like this a lot. Just going to take this same uh, Morphe brush try to just soften it just a little bit hello you're hungry what would you like hey don't just tell me you're hungry and leave I like this palette so much better now that I rearranged it I'm just gonna be honest I'm not saying it was anything wrong with the original layout and I think some people may enjoy the original layout but I think I like this layout so much more you guys we're gonna take this um, shimmery lavender shade and put that in the inner corner. Just gonna extend that up just a little bit. I haven't watched a lot of videos on this palette, but I'm certain that like everyone's coming up with like such different looks and that is just the beauty of your perception and the beauty of makeup that I really, really, really get a kick out of so let me know what y'all think about this look like, i actually love this like i can see the orange i can see the pink i can see the blue here it is from afar because i mean nobody's gonna be that close at least not to me all right no time soon okay <laughs> all right moving on all right other side have y'all seen um wait a minute okay 
If you have not seen the movie Drop Dead Gorgeous, please. Oh my God, I wish my friend Akil was watching this because I'm gonna even watch it. Other side. <laughs> I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, y'all, I'm done. I'm so done with it. Okay, let's move on to the other side. I had an idea, but now I don't. Um, damn, oh, mm, yes I do. Okay, y'all ready? Here we go. Damn, I wish I remember which shade was fun sewing. I think it was the peri, the light blue, not the periwinkle blue, the light blue. All right, oh, this is one of my other favorite brushes. Ruffer 15, I almost bought another one today, but no, I didn't. Guys, all right, I wanna try to work with a shade that I don't care for, and it's this one. And I think I don't care for it because I don't know how to use it. Let's just go with it, let's just see what we can do. We're gonna take this and put this in that transitional area. I just think the way I was using it, I don't know what I was doing, but. And I think we're gonna just, cause I don't wanna be thrown off by this shade. Damn, I have so many ideas for looks though. That's the issue. But I saw this girl do this look on um, Instagram today. Or it wasn't from this palette, but it was just a combination of the shades that I love. Okay, this shade is not as bad as I thought, but when I was using it the other day, like in my first look, I just did not like how it was coming on my eye. Like it was real bumpy. I don't know what the issue was, but it's working fine now. It's gonna be a little simple look, but it's gonna still be something side, it's still gonna be cute. All right. This is actually really, maybe it was, the, you know what? Maybe it was the brush I was using. Maybe it was the brush. Now, what is the difference? So this, what I'm talking about is this shade versus this one. This is the one I'm using on my eye. This shade comes out to me like one of Natasha Denona's mattes. This shade is doing something else, something additional. I don't understand why she felt as though she needed both of these oranges because for what? She should have put a pure green up in here because that's all this is missing. Like a green green, you know what I'm saying? Give me some green. You know we like green. All right, this is cute. We're gonna take the same shade and we're gonna put it underneath the eye. I'm gonna use this BK Beauty brush to do that. Maybe this is supposed to be like a softer orange than the matte, because let's see the matte. I'll have to like read up on it, or maybe some of y'all know. Like, what's the difference between the two? Cute, I like it. Let's take the shade right here, which I know originally is Snow Cone, and let's put that on the front half of the lid Cause you know blue and orange really look nice together. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna just take a brush and maybe just blend it up into it somehow. This is very pretty though. I'm not even mad going back into that orange shade just to I'm going into the matte orange now y'all because I need I don't know I just need something else going into that matte orange this is nice y'all and then we're gonna take that snow cone shade and we're gonna put it underneath the lower lash line see this now I feel like this is kind of a more subdued way to do color. I mean, it's still bright, but it's not as bold as something like this. And then just for kicks, we're going to take this shade here and put that in the inner corner. Can I tell you, I don't like that, but let me tell you about August. Like August, August is a happy kid that'd be like, I'll be like, August, I just want you to make sure that you clean up your mess when we play. He'll be like, okay, I'll just clean up all day and I'll clean up forever. Nobody said that. Like, why are you being so dramatic? It's so much. So I am actually diffusing this out because I, it was just too dark for my inner corner, for me, for my inner corner. All right, well y'all, I think y'all see where I'm trying to go. 
but I like this this is like a softer look and I you know I know that these colors together may still be a bit much for some and it might not be something you can wear to work. Like I can wear this to work you know what I'm saying I'll wear either one you know but this might not be something that everyone can wear to work so hmm, maybe I should work on some wear to work looks if there are any uh, with this palette but I like these two I think they're very cool I still have so many more ideas of what can be done with this palette so many ideas in so little time but I mean you can just see there's just a variety like you can go bold you can go kind of soft you know what I mean um, the other thing I was thinking would be nice uh, these two shades right here like just doing a two-tone look like this but with uh, the purple and the lavender and maybe like this pink pop in the inner corner would be really cute or even going you know a bit monochromatic maybe using these three shades these three shades these three shades like that would be cute I did orange and yellow or even taking these three blues did I do that no I didn't do that so there's probably some more videos I can do with some more looks um, if not on YouTube then maybe like my little TikToks or whatever I am going to go ahead and put on my liner and my lashes and come back and close this joint out Okay, you guys, here are the final two looks. I used the Deep Maroon ColourPop liner on the bottom lash line and just my little Amazon lashes. And this is it. So let's take a look, see what you think. Really like these. Um, I like them both, but I'm loving the softer eye with the little fluttery lash. I think that's pretty. At first, I'll be honest, I was feeling really on the fence about whether I like this palette. But when I rearranged it and chunked it, like I say, like my little teaching term, and put it into a manageable situation, I'm just able to visualize looks that I want to create a lot better. Now, don't get me wrong, the original layout of the palette <laughs> Like, hit me. August hit you. Okay, sit in here for a second <clears throat> while I finish this. <laughs> what is happening here? I get hit me. I'm gonna take Why care. Of you? Let me tell you something. Give me two minutes, please. Why are y'all lifting weights? What? Can I finish? Can I finish? Okay, never mind. All right. All right, y'all. So what I was trying to say was the original layout of the palette. I love it. Like aesthetically with the colors all over the place looks amazing. It's beautiful. But upon getting the palette and like really trying to visualize the looks that I wanted to create, I was definitely stumped, like definitely challenged with the the like what I wanted to do so this really helped me so if you're somebody who is struggling with this palette or is just not sure what they want to do and it might not be you I would start with rearranging it I would I actually might rearrange it again possibly but um I'm cool with this for right now so I'm gonna go because people are doing a little bit no, too much yeah we're just trying to get strong like God you're trying to get strong like God yes. okay He's Okay. You can carry on. Excuse me? What did you say? I said you can carry on. Oh, thank you. Well, thank you so much for taking out some of your time and hanging out with me. I'm going to open up another can because um, I really do appreciate you guys taking out your time. And, um, you know, I know y'all like these little interruptions, but, you know, I be in my, my, my zone with makeup i really love just talking about makeup analyzing it comparing it being creative coming up with looks so i just be in my zone sometimes you know what i mean but um i hope you all enjoyed it let me know what you think about the looks let me know which one was your favorite i definitely want to do something where i can concentrate on this section here i'm going to try to do another video just two more looks maybe okay. and um then we can be done so until i see you again make sure you are being gentle with yourself Talk be to yourself nice. nice. Be nice, yep. Yeah. Stay safe. And be helpful. Be helpful. I love it.
Anything else? No. Nothing else? Uh, be proud for yourself. Too. Oh, be proud of yourself. Please. And you pray for God. And pray for God. Okay. And bye bye. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye. bye.